All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, man. Man, we got a little bit of news for y'all today, man. We got the logos coming out. We got the sweatiest of the sweats. Elite 3 already on Xbox? Dang. And, uh, you know, we got, we're going to talk about some of the, the slider changes that have been implemented in the game that 2K thought that we wouldn't notice. So make sure y'all hit the like button, man. It really helps the channel grow and uh, it helps people see the videos. If you don't like the video, then you saw the video, but the people that are subbed to me, been subbed to me for 10 years, they probably won't even get to see it because YouTube links the likes to the actual algorithm of putting out notification. If you don't like the video, nobody will see the notifications. I think it's a busted system, but hey, it's the system that we got. But we're gonna go ahead on with it, man, and uh, get right into the news right after this. Nino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me sad. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that habit. So right off the bat, man, my boy OG Constant, man, he says, he, he hits us with the whole thing. Looking forward to handing out some logos today. Uh, well, today, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow with the homies, uh, Mitchell Inkrot. I don't know how you say his name, Inkrot and uh, Running 2K. And Running 2K backs it up by him actually saying the same thing. Who needs a logo tomorrow? And, uh, you know, they got the whole logo deal, you know, it's the content creators. Uh, and it's showing the different types of logos that you got. So, you know, you got, I guess that's, we, we, let's, let's, let's kind of go through. Can I stop this? Uh, okay, that's that's stars, uh, superstars or whatever like that. I guess it's designers and stuff like that. You got uh, music artists, NBA players. The new logo joint, it, it don't look bad. Baseball players, uh, American football players. Because if I say football players, Brute gonna get mad. Football players, the beautiful game. You got uh, hockey players, that's NHL. Uh, then you got the people that, I guess that's 2K staff, I guess, what have you. And then you got the people that streaming and what have you. I, I don't know why they took away the joint, man, where they used to have it to where it was like like Twitch and then they had the YouTube joint. I guess they felt like they don't want, they don't want to promote anybody's stuff, even though they want you to promote them. Like by putting that logo on, regardless of what they think, you are promoting their game. It just is what it is. And so like, it, 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 I, don't, I don't know, man. It's not it's not like they're promoting you because the only thing that the logo really does is get you games in the park. It doesn't really show that, that I mean, I, I don't know, man. It's just like, it, and then people just keep pulling up to play you and stuff like that, which is cool. But I just find it like, I, I don't think it's that serious to where they, they don't want to promote you back. So they want you to promote their game on YouTube and stuff like that, but they don't want to promote you back. I just I just feel like that's kind of weird. Now I guess it is promoting you because if you're if it's got the, the little Wi-Fi logo and all that good stuff, then you know people will be like, oh okay, well let me let me look at his profile and find out some more about it. But I just thought it was a little bit more personable because not everybody's just a, some people are content creators. Not everybody is just a um, it, it, not everybody is is a streamer. But that 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 the first thing you think about is just just streamer or it's just a content creator deal. I just thought it was cool when there was like you could get a YouTube logo and then people would immediately go look at look for you on YouTube or it would be a Twitch logo. Now it's like they really don't know what to do. But I guess they can just go look at your profile and all that. So hey, kudos 2K man. I felt I, I liked it better when it was separate, but hey, it is what it is. Let them do let them do it how they want to do it because it's their joint, man. Up next, man, we got some elite threes already. And you know, they said that's the game, the game, uh, game SZN, that's the game. Uh, then after that, Pool DF, Cash Out YT, Charging YouTube, the game, um, the game again. I guess there's one of his homeboys or something like that. Uh, pulling 2K. Um, we got uh, Pulling, yeah, Pulling 2K TT, uh, WST, Enzo, Ermy DF. And then you got uh, Counting Guap. Uh, like I said, man, anybody that's putting in, if you're gonna try to hit legs and a hit top rep this year, this would be the best time to do it just because of the fact that it's not that many people going for top rep. Normally when you got people going for top rep, man, it's like it's like a, a mad race and it's like a mad dash to the finish. But like right now, there is no mad dash. There's not really a race. It's just like people are just playing the game. We plan and having a good time, waiting for next gen. But if this was a time to come up, 
this was always the time to come up right here, man. Because if you started at the beginning, you could be out there like Chico Filo, uh, getting mad views, or uh, be like uh, who was who was the other fella that we were talking about the other day, uh, Glidy. You know, getting mad views, and and you know it's it's blowing up because you would be probably like the only person doing it right now. So hey, kudos to anybody to ever go to top rep because it's a grind. I've never done it. I hardly ever get past like halfway there throughout the whole year. So you know it is what it is, but hey, anybody that does it and puts that on their back, they deserve everything that they're getting in terms of the, I don't know if you'll say fame or what have you, but in terms of everything, bro, you deserve everything that you're getting because that is a grind and you deserve all the accolades that come with it. And last but not least, man, I have to talk about something that a lot of people are not talking about. And that is 2K. Did y'all think that we wouldn't notice that y'all changed paint defense, bro? Like the other day, you couldn't really make layups and stuff like that in the paint unless you made a wise decision. You weren't dunking on people. You weren't, you were actually able to play some paint defense. And I understand that they wanted to make changes because they didn't want minimum weight point guards uh, locking down, locking down uh, seven, three centers and stuff like that. I get that. But bro, right now, it's like paint defense is just non-existent. Like, I don't know if y'all played a slasher the last couple of days, bro, but if you have played a slasher the last couple of days, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I got, like, I, I, went, I even went on PlayStation to play with my other dude with all this badges, the, the, the more defensive uh, version of this. Like, I know what some people are gonna say, but Gambit has, Gambit has all of his, he got like 22 defensive badges on his guy. Bro, it's, it's like you can't stop nobody in the paint right now. I mean, they just literally, if you're a slasher right now, you having the time of your life because it's just like you just running up the court, doing that little wide slow spin, and you just taking off, ah, flying high, boom, you just banging on everybody. So you probably are having the time of your life right now if you're a slasher, but if you're not a slasher and you're trying to play defense on on this game, it is just, it, it, it really feels like it's just not even possible. It's just like, like you really sitting there like Slithery Finisher is on, is on titanium right now. Like you can't even stop somebody. If somebody got Slithery on and they got slashing in their build, they don't even gotta have slashing take. They got Slithery on, they got slashing in their build. Hey, it's just like what my man said in Taken, good luck. Cause you ain't stopping them going to the rim right now. And it wasn't like that a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago, it was tough to stop people, but all you had to do was kind of line them up and then hold a button, and then they wouldn't, you know, nothing, you know, you could, you could stop them pretty effectively, and that made them have to make a better move around the basket. But right now, they don't even have to make a move around the basket. People are literally just coming onto the court, pressing square when they cross the three-point line, or, or pressing X when they cross the three-point line, and it, the game is taking over. It's moving your man out of the way, and they just BAM! And like I said, it really don't, it, it really seems like it doesn't depend on when you jump, especially in the wreck. It's awful in the wreck. I'm not gonna lie about that. I don't know how it is in the park, but it was like that in the park the other day too because me and my man were playing and the dude came in there, he was dressed like Mike Jordan and he they just let him dunk every time. And you know when people are aware of things that change in the game that you aren't aware of because they try something. The first time, he got beat to sleep. The second time, they let him dunk the ball nine times straight. It was nothing we could do about it. And I'm just like, I, I, don't, I don't get it now, man. You know, it is what it is, man. I don't, I don't care about them buffing stuff. But I just wish that they would tell us when they do something, man. Because when they don't tell us when they do something, we don't know how to make the adjustment until after we've gotten destroyed. Like you just see your point guard just get folded under the rim or these six, seven minimum weight point guards trying to play uh, center just get folded and be under the rim like over and over. Like it don't even matter. Especially when you do the one where he's like, ah! Like he just get the rebound and, uh, and then your man just, uh, he just fall up under the rim and stuff like that. But anyway, let me know if y'all noticed that, man, that they have, they either turned down paint defense or they buff slashing. I really don't got a problem with it either way. I've gone and I've made the adjustment with my badges and stuff. I figured out a badge, a badge uh, combination that pretty much stops it. The other thing is that y'all may not know is the reason that that happens is, I'm, I'm going to give y'all a quick tip. The reason that it happens is because your center is not allowed to play defense on somebody that's not his guy. So you can't attach to him. So what you got to do is when you see the guy getting ready to go up, your center got a double flick right trigger, I mean right stick down, and it'll make him turn to the guy and play defense. Because the defensive slide in this game is abysmal. It'll make, it'll have you guarding somebody that's not even on you. I, sometimes I'll be in the post trying to defend the center or keep the center from posting up, 
and a, a point guard will be taking a shot. My dude will come off the center and run at the point guard. Point guard missed the, why, why would I want to do that? Point guard missed the shot and the center get the rebound and he's just, bam. But it is what it is, man. But that's what it is. That's a little tip. If you want to try to stop paint, paint spamming and stuff like that, when you see the guy break past your guy, double flick down on the right stick so it switches to him and then you'll get a much better contest. Because what's happening is, they're giving the contest to the person that he's already beaten, and that's like a 1% contest, so it doesn't even recognize you as you're in his face. It's just more programmed. It's just shoddy programming, bro. I'm not I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. It was never like this before, but, hey, it is what it is now. Like, I don't know who said we need to be able to dunk more and, and just disregard anybody in the paint and stuff like that more, but I get it. They don't want minimum weight point guards playing defense on big guys. I, I I can see it both ways, but the way that it is right now, this ain't the answer. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Let me know if you've been getting banged on or your center been getting flushed on even more uh, lately. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please.